Venue residents faced their fears as troops of Nigerian army stormed community in search of suspects. Confusion has risen between indigents of Kemvanga in Katsina, a la local government area of Benue State. Nigerian army officers under the operation wire stroke OPWS in the area as the whereabouts of 30 suspects arrested in the community remain unknown. It was gathered that the suspects were arrested by the army in November 2020, while the indigents have alleged that the troops killed the suspect. The military says the suspects were alive and well. The residents alleged that the 30 suspects were picked up by the army while they were planning for the burial of one Igbala, Adaka, who died of a bike accident along the Bise Atumbe Kemvanga Road on November 21st, 2020. However, the native explained that since the suspects were arrested about two months ago, their family were yet to hear from them just as one of them had been returned by the troops. According to the residents, while the army keeps denying making an arrest, they have continued to cite the vehicle used to convey the suspect at the military base in BC. In reaction to the development, the special troops have debunked the allegation of a mass killing of suspects, adding that the military would never embark on such Eventual, even as this report comes on the heels of allegations that the military in area sets may bike ablaze. The spike operation said that it does not subscribe to setting bikes on fire, adding that rather the bandits were directly and indirectly fighting the ban on motorcycles in the area. While the force commander OPWS Major General Adiyemi Jekini has declined to comment on the issue. A source told Daily Independence that the 30 suspects are alive. The military has a policy of removing bad eggs from the society and releasing them only when it believes that such suspects will cause less damage to the society. How do you expect us to believe that the gathering was to prepare for burial? We didn't bump into them by mistake. We went to the place based on intelligence. We received the source in the army to the publication. Thank you for listening to this news. Uh, if they know the suspects, they should go for the suspects. The army should go for the suspect and stop disturbing the peace of the of the residents. Because you can see now the presence of the army is now causing tension. It's causing tension now in the community. The, the, the residents are now running at the skater. Don't know where to start. You see? This is what we're talking about. And you know that the Nigerian soldiers, the way they, they, they act is so is so crazy. When they want to, when they when they want to uh, massacre, or if, when they want to um, go after a criminal, they go after the criminal as if they are going after the whole community. Okay, you look at it. Look at the fear they have just um, uh, they have just um, passed into the into the people in the community. The people in that community, as I am talking to you now, they are not, they are not, um, they are not comfortable. As I'm telling you now, they are not comfortable. Not until those status suspect they claim that are alive are gotten. The same thing happened in in in, in Oyibo in um, in Portacourt. Can't you see how the whole people were kept were held on stage just because of the presence of the Nigerian army? Yeah? The same thing now is happening in Benue. Hey, my viewers, I am of the suggestion that the governor of Benue State, if know what is good for him, yes, the Nigerian army can look for their suspects, but for the sake of the indigents of Benue State, 
they should do it on code. They know how to go after criminals. Why, why um, terrorizing the community as if they are in Sabisa Forest? Why? It's completely wrong, go. It's completely wrong, completely. I am not in support of this. I am not in support of this and I will never be in support of this. It's evil. It's evil. Let's call it spade a spade. It's evil. And you know our Nigerian army, when they want to strike, they strike without mercy. They strike without mercy. My dear, those 30 people that they claim that are alive, there will always be a way to get hold of them. The Nigerian army should apply their method of intelligence. I believe they have an intelligence unit in the Nigerian army. That is what is paining me. They, they will have a particular unit in the, in the army. They will not make use of it. They will not make use of it. The intelligence unit should, should, should give them an advice on how to go about the search of these, of these people, of these criminals. They should not use the, 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 the problem of the criminals to, 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 um, to start massacring the innocent youth. Before you know it now, you hear that some of some, some of some of the youths probably have been shot mistakenly. Just like um, and the, the gun shot by a Monteco cop affected the innocent boy in a, in a, in a young state. And they start giving unnecessary excuses. I don't subscribe to that. It's crazy. It's crazy. Let's the governor of Benin State all these people to order. Make them know the, the, the risk involved in what they are doing. In what they are doing. The life of the people is what matters. The life of the people is at stake. It's at stake. Not everybody likes the presence of the soldiers. You look at look at look at their positions. See how the guns are ranting on the air as if um, they are in Sambisa Forest. No, 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 I will not subscribe to this. This is bad. This is bad. Completely bad. And wicked. My viewers, please and please and please, I, I use this video to call on you to come in and air your own side of your opinion. Please, deem it fit to leave your comments below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.